Lily Fomlin once said, the road to success is always under construction. One entrepreneur that lives by this mantra is Sami Keiza, a former student of business information technology who did not make it to graduation day, but instead decided to graduate his status to self-employment and dared to journey on his own path founded by previously acquired skill and passion. At the age of 25, Sami has dared to do what not many of his peers have been able to successfully execute, starting his own paint company. However, he chooses to settle on the thought that he's still very far from being termed as successful. Lashkot was born, I can say, mostly in my heart. When I was little, my father used to work for a paints manufacturing company in Tanzania. So occasionally, uh, during holidays, I would go and visit him. He would take me on a tour. Uh, through the factory, how they did things, and I really wanted to do this. Most of uh, this is a, we can call it a family heritage, whereby most of my uncles, most of my relatives are in the paint field. And this is the easiest thing that I can do, per se, because I can get the expertise and the knowledge, and also I can access formulas and the nitty gritties in the field. Yeah, so, um, most of, uh, I, I, uh, because I used to work online and online became a bit competitive, I decided to do something. I thought of probably selling cars. I bought my first car, which was a salvage, a Nissan Note, and then I sold it the next day for 12,000 shillings profit. Lashkot Paint is located in Mombasa's Old Town and has a capacity of producing 2,500 litres of paint daily. The company was established with a startup capital of 800,000 Kenya shillings. This amount would be spent on buying the blender, raw materials, paying rent, connecting power and renovating his workshop. We manufacture the best. We, we, we have put so much efforts and also resources into researching and developing products. Our products are, are better than most of the companies, especially the big corporates. We really love to hear from the client, especially their satisfaction. That is what we aim for. Challenges are inevitable. However, how you choose to overcome them is what matters. Sami has had his own fair of shares of struggles being a fresh business, but he says he won't let them discourage him. Instead, he is happy that he's got to learn from it. Sami chose to stand up, stand out and be the standard measure, which is where he draws his uniqueness from. His biggest challenge thus far is... It is finding clients, people to come and invest in something that they have never heard of, they have never heard it advertised, they have never seen and again, also this was a new town. I came to Mombasa last year for I think the third time and at this point I knew no one. My father had relocated to Watamu, and you find it was so hard to start convincing people to buy my products. When it comes to repeat clients, Sami draws a pointer from Jim Rohn's quote, one customer well taken care of could be more valuable than a heavily invested advert. Lashkot Paints would open its doors to the public in April of 2016. Sami still remembers nostalgically his first ever client, first a relationship born out of compliance. Uh, my first client who came and bought my product was another lady. Uh, apparently, there's something I missed because my dad came here and we manufactured the first batch. But there's something that we missed. And so uh, she had complaints, of course. So I had to come back and redo it again after which she was impressed. The farm can produce more than 12,000 shades of color. This is dependent on the client's needs. People often forget that this is your own choice, how you want to spend the rest of your life. And when Sami is asked why he chose to go into self-employment. My background, uh, especially after high school, after 29, I went, into, I, w I went to university. But again, because of financial challenges, my dad used to work for another paint company, it went down. And so uh, I had to drop out and join another paint company. I started manufacturing paint for them. Uh, it's, a big, it's a big company here locally. And then uh, I, I found my way into online work. And then I made, 
I, I made some few con uh, contacts and those people helped me especially uh, to work online. After which, when I saw that the opportunities were getting slimmer by the day, I decided to come into self-employment, something that I can rely on, on my own. I am my own boss, I can choose my own schedule, I can start, I can, I can, I can say this is my vision, something that I can, I can give my children in the future as an inheritance. No man indeed is an island. We occasionally need friends to support our ideas, give feedback and purchase from our businesses. Sami is grateful for the support he has received from his friends and even for believing in him. Most of my friends are happy that I'm doing something other than seeking employment. That is the first thing. My parents are also proud of me because at least from the family they can say that someone is living uh, their father's dream. My father's dream was to start a paint company. He registered his back in 2006, but it never actualized, it never came to be. And that is the first company I started with when I came here. Uh, but over time, I decided that the name, was, the, that the name wasn't, it, it wasn't so appealing. Though Sami has not fully immersed himself into marketing for his business, he still appreciates the importance of identifying what methodology of marketing works for you as an entrepreneur. I arrange meetings with contractors and also at some point when we are not very busy, uh, we go out with Hamis, who is a painter. Uh, we go to buildings, we do sampling, we sample our products there, and then we explain what each product entails or, we, or, or what products offers what to the client, uh, which, is specifically, which is specific to their needs. Yeah, um, and also I have painters who come here because they have trusted our products. They come and buy our products from this place. And then if they bring a client, I give them a commission. Yeah, so mostly it is the painters or even us going out to meet clients. Products at Lush Coat Paints are packaged from 250 milliliters to 30 kgs buckets. However, according to Sami, the fastest moving product is the 4 liter product, which costs 4,000 Kenya shillings. I'm overjoyed, that's the first thing. No matter how much they have taken from me or even defaulted, I'm overjoyed seeing that my product is offering that which it is supposed to. Uh, but I feel bad when I have put in effort and money into this and then at the end of the day I receive nothing. But I'm very happy when people appreciate my products and when it is applied somewhere and someone sees it and says that, wow, this paint is good. Sami's products are available in various hardware shops in Mombasa, Malindi and Lamu. He gets his raw materials from Nairobi. Are there times when you feel like giving up? Occasionally I have. I felt like giving up, especially on the power issue. I've had, I've had issues with Kenya Power. Yeah, um, my machine has blown up. I think this is for the third time. Uh, I feel like giving up, but I'm always asking myself: if I give up now, and I'm almost two years into this, what happens to me? What happens to this? What happens to those people who feed from this place? What happens to the hope? that I had, that one day this I'll pass it on to my children because my father has passed his knowledge to me, then I, I would desire that my children would have something that they can be proud of. Sami believes that one of the most tedious tasks for a paint maker is color matching to a customer's satisfaction. Everyone is looking for a unique selling point. Sometimes small touches make an amazing difference. People are interested in products that are affordable, and you will notice something, the big corporates, one of the challenges they have is their running cost. They have a lot of things that they are doing, a lot of advertisement, a lot of workers, things that are taking away the finances. But for us, our focus is more so on making the product available, affordable, and also uh, ensuring that this place is sustainable. When it comes to future plans, Sami has summed up his sleeve. My vision is to, uh, is to help that, uh, that person who is building reduce the cost of construction because it has skyrocketed. Um, but what I'm 
really focusing on is to come up with new products. I have new innovations. I have something that I have some formulas that no one has tried here. Procrastination is a virus that kills many business ideas. And if you are looking to get into one, then you ought to start where you are. Use what you have to do, what you can. If you always say that you're going to start tomorrow, you will never start. 